Hello everyone, I'm Miss Sarah and welcome to Play Case Storytime. Let's get started with our calendar. Who knows what day of the week it is today? That's right, it is Tuesday. And does anyone know what month it is? Good job, it is May. And how many days are we into May today? It, we are four days into May, so it is May 4th. And what is the weather like today? That's right, it is partly cloudy. And who knows what season it is. Good job, it is springtime. All right, everyone. So today I want to talk about family, but first I have a little poem I'd like to share with you. It goes like this. Families are people who care about you. My family is special and your family is too. Mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers, grandpas and grandpas, and so many others. One family is big while another family is small. Some families have no, some families have children and some none at all, some, some none at all. <laughs> that was a tongue twister. When we're together or far, far apart, it's the people I love who fill the map of my heart. Oh, okay, that was such a nice poem. So what do you think about when you think of your family? Maybe you think about your mom or your dad or maybe your grandpa. What about your brothers and sisters? What about your pets? They're your family too. When I think about my family, I think about all of our wonderful uh, beach trips that we go on every summer and every single um, meal that we've shared together. I, um, in my family, I am the youngest, so I have two brothers and an older sister. What about you? That's awesome. Okay, let's read a book. This book is called me and Mama by Cozy A or Cosby A Cabrera, and it was published by Simon and Sh Schuster. <laughs> Can't talk today. All right. It goes like this. Good morning to you, sings Mama, bright as the sun. Sometimes she sings it like the birthday song. I've tiptoed to where she is in the house. It smells like cinnamon. Papa and Luca are still sleeping, but I want to be everywhere Mama is. I put my nose to the window. My breath makes a cloud inside. The clouds outside are wearing shadows. The wind is painting the outside window with beads of water. It's raining, I say. The perfect day for boots and puddles, says Mama. Bathroom first, she says. Then water, I say. This is Mama's cup. Sometimes I take a cool sip, but I have to be careful because her cup is breakable. This is my cup. Mama's cup goes clink, clink with a spoon, and mine goes duh, duh. Clink, clink, duh, duh. Clink, 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 clink. Sometimes things break, Mama says. This is Mama's toothbrush. This is mine. I get less toothpaste. Round, round my teeth with little circles, Mama says. Round my teeth with little circles, I say. It's shower and dress time. Mama holds up my towel. A shower is a warm is warm rain that gets you going. Mama and I both have silver dresses. I wear mine with silver shoes. They're my favorite. Today is not our, our silver dress day, Mama tells me. I put my silver dress back on the hanger and pick the plaid pants instead. Comb hair, says Mama. She points to my chair. I'm hungry, I say. Mama's thought of this, Mama's thought of this ahead of time. She has warm oatmeal in the pot. This is Mama's bowl. She likes berries. This is my bowl. I like bananas.
comb hair, Mama says again. I don't want the bumblebee barrette. I don't like the bumblebee barrette, I say. Mama closes her hand. She knows I mean just today. She gives me the blue barrette. Comb hair, I say. I point to Mama's chair. Mama smiles. I give Mama the purpley pink barrette. It matches her dress. She calls it fuchsia. Out we go, I say. Max is waiting. These are my boots and those are Mama's. Mama's rain boots are bigger than mine and they're red. I watch for Max's tail before I close the door. Max doesn't wear boots. Outside a pecker pecks the sidewalk, it, or outside a pecker pecks, the sidewalk is longer than it is wide. I love the grass that grows in the in-between. It's moss, Mama says. It's velvet, I say. A hole is where a branch was. Nests are left behind in the winter. Some things don't let go, but for what? The stores are boxes filled with people. We sing out loud to we sing out loud to sky. Sky is taller, taller than trees. Mama s says a song is highs and lows. Splash. The outside clouds are pink with the sleepy sun. The day and our good are done. Mama puts me and Luca to bed. Our day is done earlier than Mama and Papa's. It's just the way when you're growing. Mama reads to us. I read to Mama. I begin each story with sometimes. Mama laughs. She throws her head back and shines her teeth. I laugh too. You're my best girl, Mama whispers. Luca is already asleep. I slip through the blanket tunnel. She closes my she closes by my chin. There's the kiss. I love you, Mama, I yell. She turns off the light. My mouth gets sleepy first. The walls are dark except by the window where the stars are hanging. I close my eyes and let the day spin me and some, spin me some pictures. There's Max and Luca and Papa and Mama's laugh and the tree holes and the tall songs and mossy velvet as green as grass and full boxes and a blue barrette and a whole cup and a beaded win and a beaded window and a warm and warm indoor rain. Oh and oh. They'll be me and Mama. What a beautiful story. I liked when they went into the woods and when she got to splash with her dog. One of my favorite things to do with my family is give them great big hugs. There are so many different kinds of hugs. There are fast hugs, silly hugs, long big hugs, hugs when you're sad and hugs when you're happy. Who do you like to hug in your family? That brings us to our next book, and it is called Daddy Hugs, and it was written by Nancy Tafuri and published by Little Brown and Company. Little Ones Love Hugs. I love drippy hugs, says Little Turtle. Just daddy and me hugs. I love soggy hugs, says Little Beaver. Just daddy and me hugs. I love cozy hugs, says Little Skunk. Just daddy and me hugs. I love furry hugs, says Little Bear. 
Just daddy and me hugs. I love whiskered hugs, says little fox. Just daddy and me hugs. I love fuzzy hugs, says little chipmunks. Says, says little chipmunk. Just daddy and me hugs. I love feathered hugs, says little Bob White. Just daddy and me hugs. I love silky hugs, says little hair. Just daddy and me hugs. I love downy hugs, says little woodpecker. Just daddy and me hugs. I love bristly hugs, says little squirrel. Just daddy and me hugs. I love winged hugs, says little owl. Just daddy and me hugs. There are all kinds of daddy hugs, but the best hug of all. Is daddy's good night hug. Sweet dreams, my little one. And that's the end. Who knew there were so many different kinds of hugs out there? I certainly didn't. That's pretty cool. So, we have um, some activities this week. Um, you can get the sheet at the library. It says all about me, and then you can write your name, and you can write how many number, um, the number of people in your family, and then you can draw a picture of your family, and you can, uh, it says I live with mom, dad, brother, sister, grandma, and grandpa, and you can circle them. And be sure to color it in and make it your own. And remember that your family and the people who love you the most, they're always there for you and they give the best hugs. All right, guys, I'll see you in two weeks. Bye.